welcome back. In this episode, we'll be treating alternate angles. We'll be treating alternate angles in this episode. And this is what alternate angles means. Alternate angles are formed. These are parallel lines. When a transversal crosses across the parallel line, okay? Alternate angles are formed when the angles forms a Z shape or an N shape. This angle is alternate to this angle. Why? Because it forms a Z shape. Forms something like a Z shape. The angle looks like this. So they are alternate each other. Why? Because it forms a Z shape. Alternate angles can also form an N shape. Alternate angles can also form an N shape. As we have a parallel line looks like this. And we have a transversal like this. This angle and this angle, they are alternate angle because it forms N shape. It must not be a perfect N. For when the shape looks like an N or a Z shape, it is what? An alternate angle. Something like this. This one and this one, they are alternate because the shape form looks like this. So like an N shape also, okay? So there are what's alternate angle. When angle forms, when angle formed looks like a Z or an N, it is what alternate angles. And they are what they are equal. Let's try this example out. Find the marked angles. Now this is our what's these are parallel and these are transversal. Here is 64 degrees, this is A, this is B. Now if you look closely from this diagram, this angle forms a Z shape. It means this angle is alternate to this angle. This angle is alternate to this angle, okay? So A and B are alternate angle. But first, look at A and 64. What do they look like? They are basically opposite, where we started from. This angle is opposite to this angle because this is two straight lines that crosses each other, okay? So A is equal to 64 degrees. Why? They are vertically opposite angle. Please always put your reasons. A is equal to 64 degrees. Why? They are vertically opposite angles. And A is equal to B, which is equal to 64 degrees. Why? Because they are all alternate angles. Very simple. So we are done. Our A is equal to 64 degrees, our B is equal to 64 degrees. Why? Because they are alternate angles. Alternate angles always form a Z or an N shape with a parallel line. Please take note. With a parallel line. If the lines are not parallel, if the lines are not parallel, please, this angle is not equal to this angle. They are not alternate angles. Alternate angle and corresponding angles, they are all formed with a parallel line. Okay? They are all formed with a parallel line. Let's quickly treat another example. Let's quickly treat another example. I have a straight line like this. And parallel lines go this way. Okay? And this is Y. This is X. And this is 1, 1, 2 degree. Okay, this is another example. Find the marked angles, okay? 
if this is x, this is y, this is 1, 1, 2 degree. Now look up. x and y, they form something like this, which looks like a z, right? That means they are what? They are alternate angles. But look at x and 1, 1, 2. They are what? They are formed on a straight line. It means that 1, 1, 2 degree plus x is equal to 180 degree. Y angles on a straight line. They are angled on a straight line. Okay? So it means x is equal to 180 degree minus 1, 1, 2 degree. Uh, x is equal to 68 degrees. Our uh, x is equal to 68 degrees. And our uh, x is equal to y, which is equal to 68 degrees. Y because they are what? Alternate. They are alternate angles. Okay? Our uh, x is equal to y, which is equal to what? 180 degrees. Y because they are alternate angles. Okay? Now let's do the last part of this segment. Which is what? Interior angles. Interior angles. Interior angles. Interior angles sum up to be 180 degrees. Interior angles sum up to be 180 degrees and they are formed same way the parallel line and the transversal. Interior angles sum up to be 180 degrees. Please don't forget any of these properties of angles. They are very, very, very important. They are very, very, very important. Now, interior angles. Now, when we have two parallel lines, or parallel line, rather, and a transversal, this angle and this angle, they are interior angle. Why? Because they are inside the parallel lines, okay? What if I have it like this? This is my parallel line. This angle and this angle. They are inside the parallel line, so that's my interior angle. Interior angles, interior angles are 180 degrees. Interior angles sum up to be 180 degrees. Interior angles sum up to be 180 degrees. Let's try out an example and see. If here is 62 degrees and here is x, okay? If here is 62 degrees and here is x, they are what? Interior angles, okay? They are interior angles. And I say interior angles sum up to be 180 degrees. So x plus 62 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Why? They are interior angles. So our uh, x is equal to 180 minus 62 degrees. So x is equal to 108 degrees. Our uh, x is equal to 108 degrees. Our uh, x is equal to 108 degrees. Are we together? Our uh, x is equal to 108 degrees. Please, that is how to do interior angles. Interior angles sum up to be equal to 180 degrees. Interior angles sum up to be equal to 180 degrees. Interior angles sum up to be equal to 180 degrees. Something like this, 
I have this one also. Okay, let's go this way this time around. I have here to be Y and this place to be I have here to be Y and this place to be 118 degrees. Okay? Perhaps here to be Y and that place 118 degrees. Interior angle tells me that Y plus 118 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So my Y is equal to 180 degrees minus 118 degrees. So my y is equal to what? This is 2. This is 6. 62 degrees. Sorry, 62 degrees. Borrow one here, I get it. 10 minus 8, 2, 7, 7 minus 1, 6. 62 degrees. Okay? 62 degrees. 62 degrees. 62 degrees. So that's how to solve. That's how to solve interior angles of uh, angles formed by a parallel line. Okay. And before I go, I like to bring something to analysis. There's something called complementary and supplementary angles. Complementary angles are angles. They are sum up to be what? 90 degrees. Why supplementary angles are those angles that sum up to be what? 180 degrees. Complementary angles are angles that sum up to be 90, and supplementary are those that sum up to be what? 180 degrees. You'll see that better in your notes. Have a wonderful day.